Hello everybody, and here is the latest machine. As you can see, it's a Maxus Extreme Power Board. And this has got a 450 watt motor in it. And we picked it up for a nice cheap price of £21. And it's a bit better than the Razer E300. Definitely more powerful with that motor. And it's so much smoother. It's fantastic. Anyway, it had the, the old lead acid batteries in it. And I've gone to work on it as usual. And I've nicked the controller out of the pink scooter and borrowed the batteries as well. There's six in there as before in the E300 and I've taken the throttle again off the pink scooter and yeah it's a very nice scooter it's got a bigger, has it got bigger tyres? I think it has, yeah. But it's got a smaller, a bigger sprocket on the back. It's got a 72 tooth. Whereas the Razor has a 55, I believe. So it's pretty quick. Top speed isn't that great. I think it's about 25, 26 miles an hour, but it certainly gets there a lot quicker. The little one just loves it. Um, can't really say much about it. Taking all the wiring out, taking the old controller out. It was a, another on off controller with a um, thumb trigger. So it's push your thumb and go, let go, and it stops. Um, the only problem with it is the big holes in the side as you can see it's got some rather big holes so I've had to put a piece of paper in there a piece of card in there to stop the cables coming out when we're riding along but yeah it's great and also I do believe there is enough room in there to get 12 of these batteries in there's six in there at the moment, and if I push them back as far as they'll go, if we tidy that wiring up a bit, I reckon we can get 12 in. So that'll give me 20 ampere hours. If I can get this wiring a bit tidier. As you can see, it's a mess as usual. But yeah, it's good. I wired it up the, the evening we got it and couldn't figure it out because it's got all these wires on it and I'd wired up see the yellow heat shrink there, I'd wired that up to the brake kill switch instead of the on off button so there's the on off button but apart from that <clears throat> all good yeah it certainly does move and we've had probably done about 25 miles on it and the battery's nowhere near flat so I reckon we could get a good 40 45 50 miles with 20 20 ampere hours so yeah that's good um, it looks like it's got suspension but it hasn't but then again it doesn't really need it not what we do with it anyway and it's got a single front disc on there and strange strange disc setup but it seems to work pretty well you can see the pads in there strange brake and no rear brake which is a bit odd but then again I'm just about to run out of time on the video 
there's the same as my handle to for, to fold it down so it's a bit more sturdy than the um, E300 because the um, steering tends to flex quite a lot whereas this is so much more sturdy and it's so much smoother it's great um, apart from that yeah it's all good so I'll put the deck back on and then we'll do a video at some point of it actually running it looks quite smart as well not bad for £21 is it? There we go.